Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Sammy Super Soul. We are coming up on the end of May going into June, so you know we all about to be summertime fine, but I want us to be summertime fine mentally and physically. For the month of May, May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and me personally, I have struggled with my mental health. Um, when I was 16, I was diagnosed with anxiety, and so... Mental health, especially in communities of color, is seen as a weakness. The person can just be deemed crazy or extra or like super dramatic. It's just, it's a lot that plays into it. Um, but I wanted to talk about if you are someone with, mental, with a mental health disorder, how you can deal with that. And if you know someone or your friends and family of someone that does have mental health issues, how you can help. So the biggest one is having a support system. So whether you have a mental illness or you know someone that has a mental illness, obviously being supportive. But with being supportive, you have to educate yourself so you know how you can support properly because not everybody's mental illness looks the same. I have anxiety. My anxiety doesn't show up, um, I guess, physically. It's more of an internal thing for me. Like I know people with anxiety that have like full on panic attacks, they're hyperventilating, they can't breathe. Um, they just want to be in bed all day. Like there's different, different, there's different types of anxiety as well as like depression, eating disorders. Uh, there's so many different types of disorders, but yeah. So just making sure you educate yourself if you're the person that has it or some, or you know someone that has it so you can help. Also being an advocate, um, if you know someone being an advocate for them. So constantly just like asking them questions. Um, and taking the time and creating a space for them to feel like they can talk to you about it or that if they're having these feelings that it's okay because we all because they've communicated to you that they have this problem or these issues and so you let them know that this is a safe space like you can have these feelings let's talk it out kumbaya whatever you need to do and if you're somebody that has them it is nobody's fault or nobody's issue but yours if you don't communicate that you have it. So I say to people all the time, I'll be like, yo, you're giving me anxiety. This isn't working. Like, um, I've gotten really good about it. And sometimes I feel like people are joking because I, or sometimes I think people think I'm joking because I say it so much. But in reality, I'm being like, yo, like, I really have anxiety. Um, so just taking time to communicate that to people because no one can help you. And no one is going to help you if they don't know that they have that you have the issue or that someone around you has that problem. So yeah, I just want to share. I think it was very important. It's been on my mind all month um, since I realized it was Mental Health Awareness Month um, and I didn't know how to approach it. Um, also because, like I said, it can be seen as a weakness so I didn't, you know, want to spew on my business out. But I think it's important and I've talked to a lot of people that do have issues um, and wanted to talk about it for this month. So I hope that was helpful. Be supportive, educate yourself and communicate to others around you and communicate to your loved ones. So yes, see y'all later.